And that's really good. And I was so excited because this means it's going to be a good weekend because usually maybe 10 or 12 show up. But I made a mistake there. I've asked God, I usually preach at Pizza Hut. I decided I'm just going to preach and if they tell me to stop, I'll stop. But if they don't tell me to stop, I'm just going to preach. And people have received Jesus there. <clears throat> so they're all there, all excited. <clears throat> and they told me, we're coming to the movies tomorrow night. So I decided I'd wait and preach tomorrow night at the movies. Well, guess what? Only about three of them came to the movies. But the girl, who was an atheist, came. She came the next day. I offered salvation at both those services. And the last night, I offered salvation again. But she never prayed to receive Jesus. But she met me at Pizza Hut that first night, and she gave me this cross. She made it a welding class. So that was very encouraged. And so as I'm cleaning up again, and she's still hanging around, I say to her, well, do you believe in Jesus now? Do you believe Jesus is Lord now? And she says, I do, but I don't know if I have him. I said, you want to make sure? And she prayed to receive Jesus, and it was a major, major conversion. She really prayed to receive Jesus with all her heart. That was four years of ministry. I've often told how we have a food and clothing bank. We've come there for almost 10 years. And the six years, three people who told me, no, I don't want Jesus, for six years said yes and prayed to receive Jesus. So sometimes you have to keep at it. Sometimes it takes longevity. And every time I go, Lord, you want me to go back? It seems longer. The older I get, the longer it seems to take to get there. But every time, something really special happens. So I just praise the Lord for Desiree. Yeah. Lord, I pray for Desiree and the other kids that pray to receive you, that they will not pop out of your hands. Keep them in their hands. Break relationships with people yes. who try to take them away from you. Bring them good Christian friends. Now, they met some other Christian friends. Let them stick together at school, Lord. Let them go to the youth group. I have the one guy who has a youth group come and tell about it. And then, Lord, there's two other major churches that should have youth groups. I pray they start them, and these kids have some places to go and some things to do. I get them converted as the pastor's responsibility to nurture them along. So let those pastors take it seriously. And when I send their names, not just to ignore them, but to call them and invite them. Bless them, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.